Here's an album I recorded in 2016, right around the election. Bunch of political jokes, so if you don't like that, too bad. Uh, I just never did anything with it, but now I'm just going to put it out to you. Enjoy. It's good to be here. I was at Starbucks the other day. This guy in line in front of me bought my coffee for me. And I was like, why? <laughs> I'm always suspicious when people do nice things. I'm like, what do you want out of this? <laughs> he goes, nothing, man. It's just a random act of kindness. Now you can take that karma and pass it on to someone else. I was like, well, this is actually karma coming back to me. <laughs> yeah, because I buy girls drinks all the time. And I don't get anything back for it. So I'm one step ahead of you. Uh, I have a lot of female friends because they put me there. And sometimes they ask me to walk to their car late at night, which is a scary thing, you know? Number one, that that has to happen. Number two, don't you want to choose someone a little more masculine than me? That's not gonna work out. Now we're both victims. That's fucked up. You just doubled the crime rate. Look at that. Maybe that's her plan. Some guy comes running after her. She just shoves me down so she can escape. He's the weak one. He has soft hands. It's fucked up. Now I have to get someone to walk me, to walk you to your car. And then you gotta drive me back. My parents are very concerned about my daily life because my brother's been married for eight years. So now there's all this pressure, you know, whenever I visit my parents, like, it's your turn. Oh. When are you going to bring a girl home? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> They're like, well, we want to meet some of the girls that you meet. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> I was talking to this girl for a little while, and things were going really well, but then I found out she decided to date a different guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how else to put that. It, it wasn't like a rose ceremony where she gave it to a different guy. It just, I just saw a Facebook post one day, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I thought I was close. You know? <laughs> when you apply for a job, they don't call you and say, yeah, we were a more qualified candidate. They just... <laughs> don't call you back. And they're like, fucking take a hint. So, so she started dating this other guy. And then I found out the guy she's dating is a rapper and a drug dealer. Woo! Yeah. And look, I get it. You want someone with a more stable income. Uh, yeah. When girls don't want to date me, I don't get mad at that. You know what I mean? Especially if it's a better option. If you want to date like a firefighter, I'm like, yeah, that's an excellent choice. <laughs> but a rapper, that's where I draw the line. Like, he's not even a good rapper. That's what I was most upset about. I looked up his songs. I was like, fuck this guy. You know, I'm a much better comedian than he is a rapper. <laughs> I bet he's not performing in Tucson. Uh, <laughs> 